Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today is all about uh, glues when you're bedazzling. So my two go-to glues are of course E6000 and Gemtac and don't mind this bottle, this is actually Gemtac in here. So just to start, my favorite glue of course is the E6000 and it is because of the curing time that it takes for this to dry and in general it takes just a couple minutes for it to start getting tacky and starting to to dry um i'd say within the couple minutes like it might you know after 10 or so minutes it might be a little bit difficult to get the stone off after 24 hours it would actually be like completely dry but um you can work really really fast using this glue and i also like it because it comes in different colors so it comes in clear it comes in black and it also comes in white. Its consistency is on the thicker side. Um, and as you can see, when using this glue, if you don't know how to use it, like flyaways will um, come when you use this glue. So you have to like learn how to use it to prevent you know, all these strings from being all over your, your outfit or your shoe. Now, normally when I use the um, E6000, I use it with a syringe. And this is a three milliliter syringe by BD. I most in generally get my syringes from Walmart at the pharmacy. And it's like a dollar or two and you get 10, which is a lot cheaper than what they charge you from the bedazzling sites. So I put the glue in. And I just push out the air bubbles and I just choose the size gauge that I want. And gauge is just the size, you know, this little tip. And um, they have really narrow gauges and they have really wide ones. Uh, so in another video, I'll discuss that. And um, when I'm done and I have, you know, more work to do, but I don't feel like doing it, then I just put this stopper in and it, it prevents the glue from coming out. But I'd say like after the the first day, the glue starts to cure within the syringe and it's by day two, like it's no longer, no longer good and you need to clean your syringe and, and change out your glue. That's like really important not to use old glue. When I bedazzle using E6000, I also use this thermometer thing. Um, so when the temperature is good and conducive for bedazzling with E6000, it'll have like a little smiley face. But when it's not, it'll like get sad and, you know, have like a sad face. But I like to use this to let me know like when is it a good time and I like to manipulate the temperature of my home based on like, you know, the cure, how it cures. Um, and then the second glue is just the gem tack i like this because it dries clear a lot clearer than the e6000 like you can have a flawless like this product is a lot easier to use um and you can be a lot more messier as as a beginner if if you're a beginner and i'm not messy but you know if you're a beginner and you don't know what you're doing i would recommend e6000 uh, excuse me gem tack versus e6000 because it dries a lot clearer so you don't really see the mistakes um, I don't use it because it's water-based, which could be a good or bad thing, but it's a good thing if you make mistakes, it's easy to clean it. You just take a paper towel with water and you wipe it off, but it's not a good thing because it doesn't hold your stones as well. So I don't, you know, there's not like a lot of longevity versus the E6000. So normally what I do is I use a tip. Um... I use this little tip and it allows me to create dots and I've made a couple dots for you right here if you can see and you can make like really really tiny dots or you can make like bigger dots um, I generally use like enough so that it actually holds the crystal but that takes time to learn and I can't really teach you that you just have to learn that as you go so um those are my two favorite glues i hope this video has been informational if you have any questions please leave them below thank you guys bye